out of Missouri, USA, church people are shitty. Mega church pastor gives up on Christianity. Dave Gass, a Missouri megachurch pastor, stepped down from his position after 40 years and renounced his Christian faith, reported the Christian Post. He tweeted, after 40 years of being a devout follower, 20 of those being an evangelical past, uh, pastor, I am walking away from faith. Even though this has been a massive bomb drop in my life, it has been decades in the making. He then added that the church was a place for abuse for him and that church people are shitty people. <laughs> okay wait i don't know if we go that far like all of them uh you know i think that when people are emotional and i'm sure this is a very big emotional step for dave gas um you, you tend to generalize a bit more than maybe you should i think that you know I, I look back in my time during the church and i agree that a lot of people were bad people um at the church there are a lot of perverts a lot of weirdos that i have met uh during my lifetime of being a, a devout christian follower um but there are also some pretty good people so you know right and i also like is that his reason for losing faith because that's not a very legit reason it's not <laughs> well you know what you know what uh something you told me a long time ago actually right. was that it doesn't matter what the reason is right well um <laughs> no it doesn't it does it matters in this okay so it matters and it doesn't matter it, it doesn't matter in the sense that i think every all atheists deserves to be deserve to be protected against discrimination against atheists even if they're reasoning for leaving religion was not a very good one right it doesn't matter even even dumb atheists deserve protection against discrimination against atheists right yeah but it does matter in a sense that we we do want to promote you know logical way of thinking what i say to people that you know so for example the reason why i think this is not logical oh we got a super chat hey thank you Oh, thank, thank you. you. Uh, uh, RPG gamer guy, two dollars. He says because you guys deserve. It. He or she says because you guys deserve. It. Thank you. You're very much. awesome. Thank, thank you. you. But anyways, I was saying that, like for example, uh, if if you, what is this? Oh yeah. So if people say that they left religion because they didn't like religious people, well, religion could be true even if every single religious person is an asshole, right? Um, just, just the same way around. Like if you show me, if even, so a lot of people say, oh, atheists are assholes, right? For example, atheists are assholes, right? Some people, uh, res their response is that, and that's why I don't like atheism. Um, some people respond, well, that's not true. Atheists are not assholes. We have our fair share of assholes and we have a lot of good people, right? But my response to that is like, even if 100 of per atheists, 100% of atheists were assholes, that doesn't really prove God. So even if every single atheist that you met was an asshole, that is not an argument against atheism. Atheism could be still be the logical position. But that to be consistent, that's also true with religion. Even if every single Christian you ever met was an asshole, that's not an argument against Christianity. Christianity is wrong because it's nonsense. It doesn't have any evidence. It doesn't have any proof for its claims. The fact that Christians are good people or bad people is irrelevant to the claim. So, I, so if somebody leaves religion because like a lot of Muslims, some Muslims leave Islam because they say, well, I looked into it. It didn't make any sense. Okay, that's a valid reason. But a lot of Muslims I've met that left Islam because they were tired of Muslims. They're like, I don't like Muslims. I met a lot of Muslims. They're, I don't like my experience with them. And that's why I left Islam. I mean, you could do that, but that's not a very, that's not an well, argument against does, Islam. As Beach pointed out, he does go on to many other reasons. Uh, oh. He even goes back to the, back to when he was in eighth grade and reading about Greek mythology oh. um, and how oh, things mind. started dawning on him then, but then how his marriage uh, wasn't anything that it was, he was promised it would be. And, you know, if, if you read the Bible, if you read about the relationship between a married woman and a man, I mean, it is supposed to be something pretty darn spectacular, but he went through a lot of uh, abuse in his marriage as well. Um, and then he says, uh, at the, the full quote is, I spent my entire life serving, loving, and trying to help people in my congregations. And the lies, betrayal, and slander I've received at the hands of church people left wounds that may never heal. So I think, I think the fact that, um, you know, those people 
slandered him and, and lied to him and, and weren't what he thought church people should be. I think that he's just angry about that right. really more than, you know, why okay. you stopped. Okay, okay, never mind. Then I'll take everything I said back. But I want to do, I did want to make that point that that's not a, a logical reason if that was a claim, but if that's his reason. No, and you're right. Yeah. I think that does need to be said. I mean, if somebody yeah. does want to leave something just because somebody wronged them or just because just, that's, it's a, it's not a valid reason to Arguments. leave because, I yeah, know. yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah. but also, but it's fine to vent out though. Like like a lot of people that became just recently became atheists. Um, sometimes, like people that have been atheists for more than a decade, uh, they see that the when pe they see people that just recently became atheists, they're they're venting all their anger against all the stuff that they had to go through. People are like. Okay, um, maybe calm down a little bit. You get, you get through. Don't you know? You don't need to be this angry. But no, I think it's important to go through that phase. I mean, you just discovered that you've been lied to your entire life, and you're like, "What the hell?" Right? Like, you you need to get that out of your system. So, uh, for for people like uh, uh, to make belittle the people that just became new uh, recently atheists to be like, "Oh yeah, I remember. I went through that phase." You you you'll um, you'll you'll get out of that but as if it's as if that's immature well chris it's not immature. just give us a super chat oh, you thanks. guys rock thank oh. you chris you rock you're awesome oh thank you guys that's today is very people are being very generous but yeah i'm just saying that the fact that you went through it then you should allow other people to go through the same thing like it's not a your whole world has just turned upside down everything you thought about reality and nature and your own existence you figure out okay this is this is all was was a con and you want to you want to tell people about it and just because you like people are like oh these people are still stuck in my what atheists went through in the 1990s or the to, you know like well because they just became atheists we need to have an a place for people to be able to vent so just because i'm saying the anger that you have for your religious back, uh, community is not a logical reason that doesn't mean that I, I'm not in favor of people venting out, right? Like sometimes, you know, I'm just saying don't pick your beliefs based on that. But once you do pick it, you pick your, you know, beliefs or views based on logical reasons. Then after that, I think it's fine to vent as much as you want about whatever experience that you had because of your religious upbringing. And it seems like this this guy, this pastor is doing the same thing. Let me see what the top comments are. Steven is saying, when I was in eighth grade and I was read. Okay, that's too long of a comment, so I'm not going to read that one. Let me see. Scott is saying, restaurant workers have been saying this for ye forever. Oh, yeah, because they don't get tips, right? They get, like, a Oh, well, yeah, not only that, but if anyone, especially if you live in the South, I don't know. Uh, I've lived up in Chicago. I don't think it's ever this bad. But uh, Sundays, I just prefer not to leave my house. Sundays, every restaurant everywhere is just filled with people who are there either to eat breakfast before church or have lunch after church um it's just it's filled you're filled you're packed um everything is crazy so the servers are having to serve a ton of christians and it is a um a stereotype uh here amongst servers that you know it's sunday so i'm not going to get paid today um uh. i don't so that's probably where that came from no no I didn't know that. That's interesting. Brent is saying must have made enough money for his retirement. Oh, that's not fair. You don't know that. Um, let me see. Um, okay, so let me see if anybody in this live chat is saying, well, the guy is kind of right because religion is a way of life. If this way of life creates assholes, then it has to be from the religion. Well, the thing, so when I was religious, the way I... It, made excuses for religious people that used to be you know dicks um was that well this is their fault it's not god's fault right so m we say humans are not perfect when muslims are bad is because of muslims not because of islam right so that's the argument you would make as a, as a religious person or christians would say when christians are assholes it's because of christians not because of christianity right and you might um so so just people being assholes is not enough for you to i mean christianity itself has enough 
teachings without Christians being good or bad, it doesn't matter. You could just go right to the source and show how barbaric and how inhum you know, how, um, you know, backwards uh, these books are. It's whether people are good or not is irrelevant. The teachings of Christianity are evil. The teachings of Islam are evil, regardless of how people behave, right? And you could just, if people are, if people are behaving in a certain way that, you know, and a lot of, th a lot of uh, bad behaviors from Christians do come, and Muslims do, can be di uh, sourced back to the Bible or to the Quran, but a lot of it can't. Right, a lot of it is generally people, be, you know, is the people being dicks the same way other people without religion are being dicks, right? So we can't blame all of them on on Christianity, but and we don't need to because Christianity is and Islam are obviously evil without people having to act on it to prove that prove that to us. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.